Well, just in time for St. Patrick's Day, an Irish bourbon. Well, kind of. It's weekend sip. Charles Passy has the booze, and Emma Moody has her thirst. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Sure, Thank the you. Um, there it is. It, it's right. not quite a bourbon, but it sort of isn't it's a whiskey, in the, really. It's in the spirit of a bourbon. So Irish whiskey. It is definitely a spirit. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> Irish, whis Irish whiskey is super hot right now. It's one of the biggest growing categories in America right now. Most Irish whiskeys are a blended whiskey, a blend of malts and grains. This is an unusual one. It is a single grain, and it is a single grain made of corn which, guess what, is the predominant grain in bourbon. So this is somewhat akin to a bourbon, a very different Irish whiskey. It comes from a fairly new brand called uh, Teeling. So, uh, and it's just a very different take on Irish whiskey. Uh, Emma, are you a fan of Irish whiskeys of any sort? Not so much. Not so uh, much. But this one does sound interesting because I am a fan of bourbon, so a bourbon-like substance could, well, be, could be very appealing. Why don't you two tuck into that, and I'll explain the, the aroma is sweet, uh, it's, it's pungent, um, it, it smells is. very inviting, certainly, and it, it's a beautiful color. Mm. I'm not going to say what color, because I'm colorblind, but it is beautiful. Anyway, where would I buy this, Charles? Um, this should be pretty much at your local liquor store, particularly if it has a good selection of Irish whiskey. If it just has Bushmills and Jameson, maybe not so much. Um, it's just rolling into this country right now, starting with St. Patrick's Day. You might have to give it a couple of weeks. Okay, Emma, what do you think? Mm. Ta describe nice, the flavor like, while well, I have a taste. I it's very fruity, like, you know, sort of apples and sort of some sort of citrus. Very nice. Um, nice you picked up on the, the other thing that's interesting about this one is it's aged in wine casks. So um, oh. so it actually, you're getting some so of the fruit some, from that. Yeah, um, but, you know, but it's definitely on the sweet side. It is. Yeah. It really doesn't have the traditional character of uh, an Irish whiskey, which has a more of a balanced and I would say certainly more of a malty, a breadier character. This is if it doesn't taste exactly like a bourbon, but it's not too far away from it either, I would say. I must really getting into that. I, am. <laughs> really I think I would just that. put this now, down. What, 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 no, please don't on our account. Why have these, well, I don't have a, a, um, a uh, handle no, on no. mine. Um, is is no that no because idea. I can't be trusted with a handle? Why is that? Why? Uh, you know, this, this is the perfect mug to make an Irish coffee for, for St. Say. Patrick's Day, but we do need some coffee for that. So, uh, <laughs> but, no but it works see. for this, I would say. Okay, and we have this neat, I should point out that. Yeah. There's yeah. no water um, in there. Right. So keep going, Emma with that. Thank you very yeah, much, right. Emma and I Charles, will. everybody. Cheers. Have a great weekend.